Hi, I'm Yumna, and today on Feel Good Foodie, we're going to make strawberry banana smoothie. Um, the reason I love making this recipe is because it's very popular when you go out to restaurants and smoothie shops, um, but it's sold for like seven, eight, nine dollars sometimes. So if you realize how cheap it is to make it at home, how healthy it is, how much healthier it is to make it at home, then you won't be buying it anymore when you go out. So I'm gonna show you what it takes to make it. Um, the way I make mine is four ingredients only. We've got strawberries, bananas, yogurt and milk. And so that's all you need. Um, it's just those four basic ingredients. So this is a really good base recipe and you can always build on it with extra ingredients and just kind of customize it however you'd like. I also think this is a really good way to introduce kids to having smoothies as well because most kids love the taste of strawberries and bananas. So throw it in liquid form and they'll eat it up. And there's my child. <laughs> so to get started, we're gonna put everything um, in the high speed blender. I'm gonna start with about two cups of strawberries. So I have them in here chopped up. I'm gonna chop a couple more. You can put them whole or um, you can also chop them up a little bit just to kind of give the blender a little help. So we'll take all the strawberries and plop them in here. The next ingredient is bananas. So you can use fresh bananas if you want, um, but I prefer to use frozen bananas. So what I like to do is anytime our bananas are going kind of ripe, I just chop them all up, throw them in the freezer and forget about them. So whenever I want to make this smoothie or any other smoothie, I have the frozen bananas ready to go and I just plop them into the blender. I like freezing them in this reusable bag. It just makes it um, really easy to use. It's um, friendly for the planet and I like the way it keeps everything frozen. So we've got the bananas in here nice and sliced and I'm gonna add them to the blender. There's one more in there, come on buddy. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna add some Greek yogurt. If you wanna keep this vegan, you can do some coconut yogurt or you can do um, any other kind of yogurt that you'd like. We'll put in here about half a cup of yogurt and this really makes it nice and thick. It tastes wonderful. Finally, we need some kind of liquid. So the liquid of choice here is milk for me. You can use any kind of milk you want. Um, you can also use um, apple juice if you wanted to instead or orange juice. But I love the way the milk um, goes in here. It makes it nice and smooth. And that's it. Four ingredients in the blender. Doesn't matter the order they go in. Doesn't matter, um, you know, what kind of blender you use, just throw them in the blender and get it going. All right, just 45 seconds later and the strawberry banana smoothie is all set. So we're gonna open it up and take a look inside. The color is beautiful. Um, the texture is nice and creamy and thick and um, it smells already so good. So I can't wait to dig in. One thing I wanted to note is that if you wanna customize this, there's many ways to customize it. So think of this as a base recipe and um, there are different ways to customize it is one, add protein powder. So I like to put in here some vanilla protein powder. It just really bulks it up and makes it an ideal like meal after a, after a workout or even a snack. Um, second way I like to do it is um, by adding some green. So you're going to lose that pretty color, but if you add spinach to it, if you add kale to it, it really adds a lot of vitamins and nutrients, especially for little children. So the color might look a little different, but you won't even taste that stuff in there, I promise you. Um, third thing is try adding some nuts, some seeds in there. So flax seed, chia seeds, peanut butter, almond butter. It really gives it a nice nutty flavor. Add some fiber, add some protein. Um, and um, it just kind of takes it to the next level and makes it more filling as well. And finally, you can add a sweetener if you wanted to. I don't use a sweetener because I feel that with ripe bananas, it's sweet enough as it is. And you've got the strawberries in there as well and like a vanilla Greek yogurt. So there's really no need for um, having a sweetener in there. But if you wanted to, you just add some honey, some maple syrup, stevia, um, cane sugar, whatever kind you want to add. Um, I just recommend that if you are adding any sweetener, just taste as you go because a little goes a long way. So uh, we're ready to pour this. So we've got in here two glasses, about I think 12 ounces each. And it looks better than restaurant style, I say.
And to finish these off and just make them extra adorable, I like to put in some fresh strawberries on top, on the side. And what you can do is slice it up, make it extra fun. You can even like fan it out a little bit and throw it in here. Now, if you were to order this at a place like Jamba Juice or a place like that, um, it would be twice the number of calories. There would be at least twice the number of ingredients. I mean, if you look up some of the ingredients in some of this, there's carrageenan, there's guar gum, there is, um, you know, extra stabilizers, there's annatto color. I mean, there's really no need for all of those um, ingredients. So think about it, uh, making it at home. It's just four simple ingredients and it is so delicious. If you wanna try this recipe, check out the recipe below and try it out. It just has strawberries, milk, Greek yogurt, and bananas. It is such a good way to use up those summer uh, strawberries you might be having and just such a nice thirst quencher for end of summer. So I love this recipe and I hope you guys give it a try as well. This one's for you, Matt. <laughs> My video guy is gonna try this and um, we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> All right, he likes it. Um, and just for frame of reference, um, my videographer has the taste preference of um, my kindergartner <laughs> for the most part. So this is like perfect for him and I'm so glad that he likes it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and you can also hit that subscribe button somewhere, wherever that is, um, just to let me know that you guys like this video and that you want to see more how-to videos for how to make healthy-ish recipes with feel-good ingredients that are really going to fuel our bodies with some nutrition and some really good vitamins. So thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.